<clears throat> What's going on, you guys? I'm as always Mr. Garner and Fallen 2, and welcome everybody to my channel. And today, I'm going to give you my re review uh, for Ocean's 8. Now, this film was uh, directed by Gary Ross and written by Ross and Olivia Milch. This film is also a spin off from the Steven Soderberg, uh, Soder Soderberg uh, original trilogy. Um, that featured uh, that that featured uh, the late Bernie Mac, um, that featured Brad Pitt, you know, stuff like that. This film uh, stars a plethora of uh, female cast, uh, including Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, Eight, Anne Hathaway, Mindy Kaling, Sarah Paulson, Rihanna, Helena Bonham Carter, and um, I guess a YouTuber. I don't know if she's a YouTuber or, or what is she. Exactly, um, a chick by the name of Aquafina, I think. Uh, so the idea for the film is more than likely like the original films. There is a group of women uh, led by uh, Debbie Ocean, the the sister of Danny Ocean, who is played by Sandra Bullock. She is uh, she is let out of prison after committing a crime and stuff like that and she gets these women together to uh, bring together a heist uh, at, a, at a gala in New York City um, I'm gonna tell you what I thought what I didn't like and uh, you know what how it com how it compares to the original trilogy. Okay, so I like the aspect of how the whole thing put was put together. I enjoyed the the uh, the uh, I enjoyed how the cast how the cast got along with each other. You know what I mean? So. I enjoyed how this film was uh, perceived at first, you know, uh, with how the story went and all that. The story kind of went off the rails a little bit. Um, I I thought that the the whole idea with the uh, we have seen the heist movie before. We have seen the heist from before. Um. But I think that the movie did pretty well, actually. Sandra Bullock uh, Kate and Kate Blanchett, uh, they're, they're um, what's the word am I looking for? Um, their relationship in the film uh, with each other was, you know, two friends and stuff like that. Um, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the, uh, the, the, count, the, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. The acting was pretty good. Uh, everything else was pretty good. It's just, the story kind of went off the rails a little bit when, I don't want to. I don't want to give y'all guys any spoilers or anything like that. I'm not gonna give y'all any spoilers, but there are some parts in here when we first meet the women, uh, when we first meet what would be Sandra Bullock and Kate Blanchett's crew. Um, we got a chance to see how these women, how these women, uh. We get a chance to see how how their how their um what's the word I'm looking for their characteristics are um how they were their attitudes about things um um. The cast did really well. The, I, I thought that they they put together a hell of a. 
I, I thought that they had put together a hell of a good idea, but as I said before, the story wasn't there. The story was went off the rails and uh, and some parts kind of skid, skidded a little bit. The comedy was kind of, was kind of, the comedy there was, um, a little hokey at times, but st you still got a good laugh at it at least, you know what I mean? But even still, I think that Ocean's 8, well, it did pretty good. But it, it they could have done a little bit more better with the story story wise. They could have done a little bit more better. Um, the principal photography, uh, the the camera shots, how they swayed and all that. It kind of reminded me a little bit of C Steven Soderbergh, how his his uh, how they how the how the can we get these sweeping shots. Uh, it kind of reminded me a little bit of the original of the the original three films by Steven Soderbergh but I think they were trying to become too much of that but I felt that the movie did pretty well all in all I thought that the movie the the, the female cast did well Mindy Kaling again she's funny in this movie Sandra Bullock uh, as Debbie Ocean she is, she's a work of art in this film uh, Kate Blanchett was hilarious as, as as well um many of these women were um rihanna was pretty good in this film as well even though we got a chance to hear her talk only one time um i give these women a lot of credit for uh putting together this this film and doing what they needed to do uh to try to work out a story they 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 did as good as they could with what they were given uh but all in all i think that i think that the wheels just fell off a little bit but you're asking grim what did you give it well i gave it a seven and a half out of ten and i'll tell you why it gave it that even though the story at times went off the rail even though the the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Good yeah. Not everything has to end up with a police. Yeah. Anyway, um, I wish you were here with me because you can help me with this. <laughs> That's really all I like about the movie. Um, the story, even though the story kind of fell off the rails a little bit. Sorry, that's my 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 niece. You'll see her later on. Um. Even though the story went off the rails a little, it was still a good movie. It was still a pretty good movie, and I recommended for Blu-ray. I, I recommended for a Blu-ray uh, rental. You know, I uh, if you guys like the heist film, if y'all if y'all guys like these kind of movies where um, uh, these these kind of films, uh, I I go pick it up. On DVD when it comes out but uh, let me know in the comments down below what y'all guys think of Ocean's 8 did you like it did you think that it sucked let me know in the comments down below uh, that's gonna be it for me for right now I'm gonna give you guys uh, my three reactions and then later on I still gotta give y'all guys my review for Lost World so uh, that's gonna be it for me I'm Mr. Girl on phone 2 and I'll see you on the afterlife Peace.